Hello, today I'm going to put in an uh, OpenFlops USB disk drive emulator. It's uh, just like a GoTech, except it uh, supports uh, two drives, not just one, and uh, it uses the Flash Floppy uh, software. And I'm going to be putting it into my, uh, my Mega STE. Should be uh, should be lots of fun. So first thing, so start removing some screws. There goes the hard drive. And for those who haven't seen the inside of a Mega STE, so to hide the hard drive, you can you've got your uh, your toss. So, oh, it's upside down. <laughs> well, here is your toss and your RAM. Of course, your hard drive. Uh, in my case, a SCSI. Well, what I really want to get to is the floppy drive. So, let's disconnect this for a second. And make note that the uh, drive cable is in this orientation, and really they don't have a, a marking on it. At least I'm hoping it's keyed, and it isn't. Okay, well, we'll remember, won't we? Tremiel, anything to save 50 cents. So, now... There's the guy we want to replace. So there's uh, four, four screws it looks like we have to remove. Just take the floppy drive out. Okay, the drive is out. Okay, so the little dip key is on the uh, Outside, pin one is on this side. There we go. I'm guessing if I take these four screws out, I'll have a plate that I can attach the GoTech to, or the uh, open flops to. That separates the uh, floppy drive from the plate. And 
Now. Looks like it can go in just like that. Oh, that's the wrong way around. <laughs> and this is the wrong way around as well. So I guess I can get it this way and this way. And that would be the solution. Okay, I am going to put a piece of paper in here because I don't have a 3D case yet. Well, I couldn't get, uh, couldn't find a really good way of, of putting in the floppy emulator with a, without having the uh, 3D printed thing. So I'm just going to test it this way. So, here we go. Oh, I'm going to see some output here. If you can't read it, it says ST Calc. Oh, we're going through a memory test. Oh, drive A is there, yeah. Okay. And ST calc is there, so let's fire it up. Uh, did I actually fire it up? Let's try again. Oh, guess I didn't. And if we look on the uh, on here, the green light indicates drive A. Oh, only runs in low resolution. Okay, just a second. Fire this off. Switch my output to mono and try again. So, on the little unit itself, there is a uh, green and a red light. Uh, green is supposed to be drive A and red is supposed to be drive B. Oh, memory test again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I don't know how to set it up for drive B yet. I'm sure I'll figure that out. ST calc. And it's just as slow as a floppy drive. Okay. There we go. It's working. Now to find out how to access drive B.